challenging victim shaming, empowering survivors and fostering change. Introduction In today's society, victim shaming has become an unfortunate reality. It occurs when individuals blame victims of crimes, harassment, or discrimination, instead of holding the perpetrators accountable. Victim shaming perpetuates a culture of silence, fear, and injustice, often leaving survivors feeling isolated and discouraged from seeking help. However, it is time to shift the narrative and turn the tables on victim shamers. By promoting empathy, support, and awareness, we can challenge victim shaming and foster a society that champions justice and compassion. Understanding Victim Shaming Victim shaming is a harmful phenomenon that manifests in various forms. It occurs when people question victims' credibility, integrity, or behavior, instead of focusing on the actions of the perpetrators. Whether it is a survivor of sexual assault, domestic violence, or any other form of mistreatment, victim shaming adds an extra layer of pain and trauma to their experience. It often perpetuates harmful stereotypes and myths, suggesting that victims are to blame for the injustices they have suffered. Shifting Perspectives, Empathy and Compassion To combat victim shaming, it is crucial to foster empathy and compassion within society. It starts with recognizing that victims are not responsible for the actions of their perpetrators. By promoting empathy, we encourage individuals to place themselves in the shoes of survivors, understand their experiences, and acknowledge the tremendous courage it takes to come forward and share their stories. Rather than questioning victims, let us direct our focus towards holding the perpetrators accountable. This shift in perspective enables us to challenge the deeply ingrained societal norms that perpetuate victim shaming. It requires us to listen actively, validate survivors' experiences, and create a safe space where they can share their stories without fear of judgment. Supporting Survivors, Breaking the Silence Support is paramount for survivors who have been victimized and subsequently shamed. By offering a supportive environment, we encourage survivors to break their silence, seek justice, and rebuild their lives. This support can take many forms, such as 1. Believing survivors, one of the most powerful actions we can take is to believe survivors when they come forward. Validation helps restore their sense of dignity and self-worth. 2. Providing resources, communities, organizations, and governments should prioritize the provision of accessible resources, including counseling, legal assistance, and helplines for survivors seeking help and guidance. 3. Raising awareness, educating society about the consequences of victim shaming is essential. By shedding light on this issue through awareness campaigns, social media advocacy, and public discussions, we can challenge societal norms and bring about change. 4. Encouraging reporting, encouraging survivors to report incidents empowers them to reclaim their voice and contributes to the accurate documentation of crimes. Ensuring that reporting systems are responsive, sensitive, and respectful is crucial for survivors' well-being and confidence in the justice system. Changing the narrative, media responsibility. The media plays a significant role in shaping public opinion. Journalists and media outlets should exercise responsible reporting by avoiding victim-shaming language and focusing on the actions of perpetrators. By providing accurate and unbiased coverage, they can contribute to an environment that supports survivors and encourages others to come forward. Conclusion The time has come to turn the tables on victim shamers and create a society that values empathy, support, and justice. By challenging victim-blaming narratives, fostering empathy, and providing support to survivors, we can create an environment where victims feel safe and empowered to share their stories. Each of us has a role to play in dismantling victim shaming, promoting understanding, and advocating for a more compassionate society. Together, we can bring about a cultural shift that ensures justice for survivors and promotes healing and resilience. In order to turn the tables on victim shamers, 
we must actively combat the harmful attitudes and misconceptions that surround victims of various forms of mistreatment. It is crucial to educate ourselves and others about the complex dynamics of power, consent, and the impact of trauma. By understanding the systemic factors that contribute to victimization, we can challenge the victim-blaming mindset and work towards creating a more inclusive and supportive society. Additionally, it is essential to address the underlying cultural and societal factors that perpetuate victim shaming. These factors can include gender inequality, toxic masculinity, and ingrained stereotypes about victims and perpetrators. By engaging in open conversations and promoting awareness, we can dismantle these harmful narratives and cultivate an environment where victim shaming is no longer tolerated. Organizations and institutions also play a vital role in creating a supportive framework for survivors. They can establish policies that prioritize survivor-centered approaches, ensure privacy and confidentiality, and provide necessary resources for victims to seek justice and healing. By working together, these institutions can send a clear message that victim shaming will not be tolerated and that support and empathy are the norm. It is important to recognize that turning the tables on victim shamers is a long-term process that requires collective effort. It is not enough to simply condemn victim shaming, we must actively challenge it whenever we encounter it in our daily lives. This includes speaking up against victim-blaming statements or attitudes, and supporting survivors when they share their experiences. By offering empathy and support to survivors, we empower them to reclaim their voices and find healing. It is crucial to listen attentively, validate their experiences, and let them know that they are not alone. Engaging in active and compassionate listening helps create a safe space where survivors can feel comfortable sharing their stories without fear of judgment or retribution. Furthermore, we must celebrate the resilience and strength of survivors who have overcome adversity and found the courage to speak out. By sharing their stories, survivors inspire others, challenge societal norms, and break the cycle of victim shaming. Their bravery serves as a reminder that victims are never at fault and that true accountability lies with the perpetrators. In conclusion, turning the tables on victim shamers requires a collective effort to promote empathy, support, and understanding. By challenging victim-blaming attitudes, supporting survivors, and fostering awareness, we can create a society that prioritizes justice, compassion, and healing. Let us stand together, united against victim shaming, and work towards a future where survivors are heard, believed, and supported unconditionally.